And the third question, uh, the three, is on the minister who was recently compounded 1,000 ringgit. So the ministry mentioned that the compound was issued on August 8th. And, um, and, and was it, I think there's been some concerns, you know, or questions whether the compound was backdated or, you know, done in response to pressure. So we're just wondering if the if, if Nansri would like to respond to that and also if any of the family members of the minister or any of his entourage, did they also uh, follow the home quarantine order? Thank you. Then the third issue, certainly that uh, this is a... Uh, what we, uh, all of us here, we were not, we were not informed. We have only been informed last week. And what we did, the first thing is to uh, instruct an uh, internal investigation. And yesterday only I got the report from in internal investigation, a full report, what happened from the ground, uh, and we were not informed. So it's very important for our frontliners, uh, whatever happened at the ground level, to inform us or inform the superior so that action can be taken as soon as possible. So, the, but, the, what, uh, but more importantly today uh, is under police investigation. So police is also part of our uh, uh, enforcement under the Act 342. So under Section 3, we already empowered the police. Thereby, the public officer, police, AG, uh, they are also part of the uh, enforcement of the Act 342. So we will leave the police to do the, all the investigation and take the necessary action. So I hope that the police will do a good job and then uh, uh, address this issue as soon as possible. Uh, that's really mentioned that the ministry was not informed about the minister breaking home quarantine rules. Um, but then the ministry also said that the compound was issued. No, uh, um, I, the statement is we are not in the know. Uh, not the ministry. We are not in the know. So in terms of, uh, we only got to know last week when this was raised by the media. So what we did is uh, we did uh, we, we started the investigation because the DG, the deputy DGs, and also the head of uh, infectious diseases department are not been informed. So I think that's uh, that's the reason why we instructed the internal investigation. Hi, just to follow up on that. Does the ministry have any travel advisory for? Uh, this is travels to countries with, you know, a high number of COVID-19 cases such as Turkey, and also um, was there any family members or members of the entourage that accompanied the minister during the trip and were they screened? Uh, thank you very much for the two questions. Uh, now we are still in the uh, MCO, that is actually recovery MCO. So we do not encourage a travel. Uh, to other countries. More so, you know, 188 countries are affected. So the, the risk of getting the infection is obviously there. That's number one. So we hope that we can tighten our border uh, in and out of the country, inbound and outbound. And we are watching closely the development in other countries. Our fear now is looking into the countries that once upon a time a gold standard uh, like uh, Korea and etc. So if Korea is having issues and challenges, so we need to be ready, uh, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Second, as I said, uh, you know, the case is related, uh, it's a police case. We leave it to the police to investigate further, to come up with an uh, official report and etc. So we are also uh, in the dark uh, because we only got to know last week. So internal investigation has been done, I've seen the report and then the report has been given to the police.